Yo guys, welcome back to another episode of Ball Hour. Hope you guys are all keeping well during this tough time. It ain't been easy, but we're happy to be back with another episode. And you know, we talk about the ins and outs of non-league. Some things that you do know, some things that you don't know. But yeah, man, it's a new week. We got a new guest, the one and only Brian Moses. What's welcome, my guy. What's what's going on? I'm good, man. How's things? Are you good? Things are good, man. How, how how have you been keeping during this lockdown? First of all, oh yeah, it's kind of tough, man. It's kind of tough, but just chilling, you know, just doing a bit of workouts here and there. But I wouldn't say I've been doing too many workouts. I was gonna say, don't you don't yeah, need to yeah, lie no. to me. I ain't your gaffer in it. Like you ain't you ain't gotta lie to me. <laughs> no, I've been I've been I've been obviously taking over in that, but not as as much as I should be in it. But it's been a good little. Break for me nah, personally, anyway. Sense, isn't it? Yeah. Like you, we ain't got a date when we're gonna be back, so we'll yeah, take yeah. time off whilst you can. So, with that being said, what have you been doing during this time off? Any new hobbies? Any things you've picked up? Um, yeah, to be honest, I've been obviously like I've got a little music management that I'm trying to start up mm, in that. Like awesome. my little brother's an artist, upcoming artist, so been doing little things there. Got a little clothing brand going on, so little bits and bobs that I didn't really have time when. I when had the football, football season, yeah, when the football yeah. was going on. Makes sense. So, using, so now... Mm, you've been using this time wisely. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Cool, cool. All right, you love to see it. Anyways, like I said, you know what we're here to talk about, so let's yeah. get straight into it. Yeah. So, quick introduction about yourself. Where did it all start? Oh, where did it all start? Um, Just a quick intro. I'll say, really, I, it started... I'll say Grace. I was at Grace Athletic around... I was I was a youth player, Grey's Athletic, I'll say like 14, 15. Mm-hmm. Then started to train with the first team around... Like 14, 15? Like 15. It's because of your height, isn't it? Yeah, it I was mainly be- really <laughs> for my height. I was just like... Bro! I was just Wait, like, how tall are you? I'm 6'7 now. No, nah, that's crazy. Yeah. So like, at 15, I was just like training, like I'll train with like the youth team. Mm-hmm. Then later on, like the first team will come, they'll just invite me to train. I've been training. But obviously I couldn't play... I couldn't play like senior football until I was 16, 16 or something. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I was really pretty much training for a year with them. So, so you knew on the you were on the verge to big things, 15 going into 16, first yeah. team are playing with yeah, you. Yeah, so then I think I obviously at 16, um training, then one time like my youth team manager gave me a call randomly and just said, You're in the squad for the first team at 16, you know what I'm saying? So it started there, yeah. I'll say Grace of Grace it all started off at Grace I feel like. Then went to Left Grays and I went to Redbridge, if I'm correct. So, so for me, when did when did you start to make an impact, like a name for yourself in non-league football? Like um, when you bit start to, start to become the main man, you're more involved now. When was that? I'll say my I'll say my first season at Wolven Forest and my second spell at Redbridge because mm. I was at Redbridge first, but I was young. I was at 17, 18. so mm. I came. Yeah, so I'll say, yeah, my first season at Wolfram Forest and my second spot at Redbridge where I started to proper make a name for myself and obviously get a, a solid role in a team and whatnot. Speaking, speaking of making a name for yourself and getting a solid role, little rumour has it going around that during the build-up to the playoffs when you won the um, promotion season with Chesant. Yeah, you was there, you was there as well, you was involved. Don't worry, yeah. about, it ain't about me, but <laughs> you was involved. I'm yeah. just saying the stats say 10 goals, 11 games. Scored yeah. in the semi semi finals yeah. and finals. Yeah, bro, to, main man. What was that like? Yeah, to to be honest, I didn't really realize I was, I had a run like that. I didn't even realize like I didn't realize until the semi final of um playoffs the playoffs that I knew mm. I was on a run like that. But I know in coming into the playoffs, I knew that we was winning games, so I was confident anyway for the team. Mm. So I knew that regardless if if I didn't score, I knew that we we'll always have other players that will. Chipping as yeah, well. Yeah, chipping or whatever. I so Yeah, I feel you. I feel you on that. That was a good season yeah. for you. And obviously, you ended off with promotion. But at the end of the promotion, I don't know if you remember, me and you were walking off um, walking yeah. off the pitch after, yeah. you know, taking pictures and whatnot. Mm. Um, but um, there was a guy in the crowd who came to, kind of like approached you, kind of yeah. like an agent. Yeah. And he said he was like, you know, championship clubs and whatever, whatnot. And I thought off the back of the season that you had, at least mm. you would have had trials here and there. But... Yeah. You snubbed the move to go to them teams and you stay loyal to Chesham. Why? Yeah. Uh-huh. Because I feel like for me, normal people just be like, 10 goals, 11 games, I just want promotion. Boy, yeah. he's trying to take me teams, I'm out of it. Yeah. But you stayed, why? Do you know what? It's just like, because before I went to um, Chesham, um, 
I was just chilling. Like I didn't, I wasn't, I wouldn't say I lost like the love for ball. I just wanted to chill. Mm. Then obviously Craig Edwards called me up. He called me like, like this was like a few days. I was just like, nah, I'm not interested or whatever. He yeah. just kept, he's like, ah, right, cool, I'm going to leave. I'm going to go and find somebody else. Then like two hours later, he'll come back to me again and say, so persistence. like, yeah. So mm. he's like, ah, right, do you know what? Like, I'm, let, let me just give it a go. Let me, mm. like the season's like, there's a few more months left, like good, like four, three months left. So I just signed with them. It was a bit tough at first. It was tough yeah. at first, like the adapting to the players. Yeah, it was a bit tough that, yeah. because I was obviously I was a bit unfit as well. So I was playing games, but I was unfit. So it was just like tough for me to get through games or whatever. Yeah. And I thought, you know what? I liked it. Like, like he's a like Craig is a good manager. So I just thought I went from doing nothing to getting a promotion, going on a good goal scoring run. Mm -hmm. I thought, you know what? He's been. The like he like showed, he showed, into, yeah, yeah, he showed. He showed, he showed so I thought, football. you know what? Let me show a bit of mm. like loyalty, loyalty back. You know what I'm saying? So, Bro. yeah, that that's how. Yeah, I'll do you know say, what? That's crazy for me mm. because I feel like you've heard the saying as much as 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 well as I have is that there's really no loyalty in football. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's no loyalty yeah. in football. So a lot of people watching this will be thinking you're a madman because they're yeah. thinking this this brother just bad goals had the chance to go yeah. trials for team pro, and he said no. So for me, where do you, like, how big is loyalty for you? Because I feel like strikers, yeah. I'm very big on this. Yeah, um, as, yeah. as, the, as the viewers would know, I'm very big on strikers having a relationship with their managers. I feel mm. like that's where they perform best. So you showing loyalty to your manager in, in the hope that one day when you need him most, he's going to show loyalty to yeah. you. How, how, how does that work? How does that, how do you see it? I see loyalty. And mm. Obviously, people say that there's no loyalty, especially in non-league football anyway, because like, yeah. you don't sign contracts or whatever, so you can go whenever you want or whatever. But yeah. even like away from football, like loyalty in, in like life or whatever yeah. like, is, is a big thing. Mm. So obviously, I just take most of that into football. So it's like, if you show me like a lot of loyalty or whatever, mm. like you care about me, I'll just, I'll give, I'll at least give a small portion of it back. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, is is a big thing. Loyalty in football is a big thing, man. Even though it's not a lot going on, mm. but if you can get loyalty from a manager, mm. then like you're already you're already in a good, a good place. Yeah, yeah. The reason why I asked you that question is because you went from not playing football. You're now the main man. You're bagging goals. Yeah. You scored semi semi finals of the playoffs. Finals in the playoffs. You scored. Yeah. Agent comes into you trying to take you pro teams. Yeah. Obviously, you stayed loyal. Stayed at Chesham, mm. but and, and then. You started bagging your goals in pre-season, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Start of the season come, it seems like there was a whole shift. Like, yeah. you were in and out the squad. Like, how does that work out and how does that make sense? Which, for me, was bizarre because obviously I was there with you at Chesham. Yeah. But it goes back, goes back to my point of loyalty. Surely, you're thinking, after what I've done last season, I'm the main man. Mm -hmm. I'm playing. Yeah. So, what's your mentality then? Because you were loyal when you didn't need to be. Mm -hmm. And now that it's kind of come back, people from the outside looking in will be like, that. there wasn't really loyalty yeah. there. So that's why I asked the question yeah. before. So, so what's your views so on when that? We got, when we got promoted and we mm -hmm. went into the Ryman Prem, um, I started a few games. I, I went in a run, I think the, my first mm. two games, I scored two <clears throat> goals or something like yeah. that. Then it's after, I think my third game, I think I didn't play. I can't remember what it was. I think I was injured or something like that. Yeah. I had a little problem or whatever. So I mm. sat out. But it wasn't an injury where... Because me, I, could, I like... I don't really... I can play through injuries. Like, if yeah. I like, physically can't move, then obviously I'm not going to play. But mm. I reckon I can get through things. But it's obviously Fair like... Enough. I think it could have been that where he thinks like... you, um, Craig Edwards maybe thought, let me rest him or whatever. But mm. I just felt like I can still give enough to like obviously still be playing or whatever mm. so it just got to a point where it was just like I won't play in then I'll be coming on and I'm just sitting there thinking what like, obviously this? like yeah oh, as, as you were saying like mm. I come off for a season like Dead I'm the madness, main man or whatever so mm -hmm. I'm just thinking it like oh what's going on but I'm not thinking about like it being low. I'm just thinking about it like at the time just like yeah. why am I not like why, why am I not, not playing, like, playing? yeah, yeah just you. like in and out of the, the team I'm coming on here and there starting the game there so it just got to a point where it's just like you know what? Like, just let me just try something new before I end up chilling again and yeah, not playing or whatever. Yeah. I just come off with like a good, big, like mm. nice season. So I think, so I thought, nah, there's no point of starting again. So let me just move on. Bearing in mind, like we didn't 
and the no bad terms or nothing. Yeah, like, yeah. No, Craig, respect. Yeah. He handles his business well. I'll, yeah. I'll give him that. Craig, Craig Edwards is a good manager. Yeah, you know? yeah. He helped me out the moment I came to Chesney mm-hmm. as well, as mm-hmm. you know. But moving forward, so... <sighs> it, it's a bit mad how a striker goes from doing what he does. Good relationship with the manager. Yeah. Obviously, it didn't end badly. But now, you know, the relationship with the manager is not there. So you're kind of kind of going out of form you don't want to go back to where you were before yeah and now you're starting to think about a new adventure and then the move to tilbury came about yeah so for me it's like people people in non-league talk they're seeing yeah. this guy's gone from scoring goals to not scoring goals and now the manager's now bringing him into tilbury to be the main man yeah like how do how how does that play on your mind because when you go into that team there's already people thinking that i should be starting mm-hmm. and they're not yeah. And then the manager goes and brings you in. So so what was that like going into an atmosphere where people already have resentment towards you? Yeah. And you're not and you haven't been playing as much. So you're so you're kind of worried to get off the mark, get your first goal. Yeah. yeah. Repay the manager's trust. So what's what's that like? Um, well, <laughs> it wasn't too it wasn't a big like transition because the management team at Tilbury, I was with them at Basildon. Okay. So I was with them at Basildon already. So, so there was that initial relationship. Yeah, so we already, like, you know, but it started mm. off with the management at um, Tilbury, like Mark Harrison, Liam Wallace. We we started off as rivals. When we was at Redbridge, they were at Basildon. Okay. So we didn't like each other. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like, so every time when we were with them, like, we would ban each other or whatever. So, yeah. yeah, we didn't really, we didn't really get along. Then obviously they got promoted, I stayed, so... Um, went Basildon pre-season or whatever, mm. signed with them. We started off like, good, like we went in like a yeah, ten. You man had a decent run. Yeah, like, ten game unbeaten run. You, it was you the top of the top table. Off, yeah. yeah, it was top mm. top of the table. So that like we, I knew them like I knew them already like well enough for me so to. So the relationship. Yeah, the relationship was already form, there. Yeah. So me going there, I was already like halfway there to say, mm. all right, cool. They already trust me. They know what mm. I can do. But now Time I got to show like the yeah. team that the, my new teammates and obviously. The Tilbury fans like what I can do. So me coming in, it was like, like it was that I was at it's a fifty fifty a bit, yeah, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. So like, because it could go left, it could yeah, go of right. Course, yeah, but luckily in your situation, it went right, in it. Yeah, it went right. I yeah, mean, yeah, top goal scorer for Tilbury, joint top goal scorer in the league. Yeah, how does that make you feel coming off the back of the situations that you were going through, yeah. and now knowing that you know you've come into a team. Boom, I'm here to play. Like, you're proving to all the players, no, I'm the main man. Yeah. You're repaying the manager's trust. How does that make you feel as a striker? Because, as you know, strikers' games are kind of, like, based off confidence. Yeah, yeah, of course, so, yeah. So, what was that like for you? Um, you know, but it's just, it's just something where, like, just believe just believe in your ability, isn't it? it like, your mentality-wise, isn't it? Mm. Like, even if, like, there's a big games, like, I'll go in, like, a game where, like, five, six, seven game run, I don't mm. score. But at least I know that I'll contribute in something. So like, just always have the confidence in yourself that you know. Listen, I've played rubbish this game, that game. Mm. Just know that you can still, I, mm. like, you can still obviously do it. Like, whenever. I, I, I like how you touched on the key word for me, confidence, because that's what yeah. I was gonna take, gonna shift it onto. So for me, like I said, strikers, big players, confidence, mm. getting that goal off the mark. Yeah. So for you, where do you get that confidence from? Because I feel like you've got your goal off the mark and yeah. now, you know, to keep going, to keep going, th- there's confidence in that. But there's also, going through that period where you were the main man, you're not the main man anymore. Yeah. Now you're coming into the team. Like, confidence. Where where do you get that from and start to build that back up? Because I feel like nowadays, players struggle in that area. They feel like, you know, I ain't got confidence. The manager's not giving, to, yeah. giving it to me. So it's the manager's problem. Yeah. And I'm out. So... Just uh, touch on that a little bit for us. Just people that don't rate me. <laughs> <laughs> people that just don't rate me. Just give me something to like, to like, it, 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 stri- it strives me in it. Like people yeah. that, I'll, I'll like play better when people say that. You can't do he, this. I can't do it. Like he's not good enough or whatever. Mm. It just makes me like. He's just be, a tall guy. Yeah, he's just, just a big guy. Mm. Like he can't hold up the ball or whatever. Like, or he can't head or whatever, but. Mm. I will like personally I know that I'll cause defenders problems regardless if like I know I can cause defenders problems like you know what I'm saying so it's just people that don't rate me and just like always mm. doubt me like that's what makes me want to play better like you get, mm. so I yeah f- that's, that's what it is really that's, that's my main thing anyway man that's a silence in there you <laughs> love to see it with that being said you said you'll cause defenders problems yeah what do you think your best 
trait is or your best attribute as a footballer. Obviously, you're six seven. Mm. Your goal scoring machine. You got a little bit of feet on you. I'll give you that, and you're kind of fast. Yeah. So, which one would you say is like your main go to strength? Um, obviously my pace, my pace and power. I say. Relax, you're not that fast, bro. <laughs> my pace and power. <laughs> my pace and power. You're, you're, you're kind of yeah, fast. I'm, but you're not I'm really. fast. I'm fast. <laughs> You get going, you get going. You're yeah, I'll take, no, I'll take a while to get going, but yeah, when I get going, like, my there. stride in it, I stri- I, you know what? <laughs> my pace and stride, if you want me to say then me striding and whatever. So, because mm. like, people say that like, when I'm running, don't look like I'm I'm going fast, but mm. I'm just gliding, like going past you. So yeah, I'll say, yeah. I'll say, yeah, my pace and power. Yeah, my pace and power. Because if, if, like, I'm six foot seven, <laughs> so people expect me to be the old school target man, hold mm, up. Mm. And that's not really... It's weird enough. That's not really my my game. Mm. Like, what I've... surprised me about you, and I feel like it surprised a lot of other people, is yeah. that initially when you meet a six foot seven striker, yeah. um, and some people say who's black, yeah. they'll just be like, "Right, this dude's scary." But yeah, yeah, you're one of the you're one of the calmest guys I've come yeah, across in non league. Like, yeah, fam, even be... on the pitch when things don't go your way, I'll be thinking this guy's gonna lose it. But yeah, no, you don't. Just... You keep your cool, and and how do you do that? Because I feel like for me, there's a lot of players in the game that, yeah. you know, it takes one thing for them to lose their core and that's their game done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even, even when things are not going their way, g- game's done. Yeah. So, how do you stay calm in times like that? Because uh, anything can happen in a split second. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, the game could not be going your way at all. Mm. Then anything can happen. So, you can just, like, you can just score. Like, it, it takes one second to score. You know what I'm saying? So, I always believe, like, in a 90-minute game, I know we can get something out of somewhere. So I'll always yeah. be... Obviously, until, like, a certain time, then, then now you probably be stressing yeah, that you've got, like, yeah. two minutes left. But, <laughs> like, football is a 90-minute game, so just right. just try to stay calm. Like, cause don't get me wrong, I do obviously lose my head sometimes or yeah. whatever, and people are like, oh, Brian, like, chill, chill. Yeah. Like, the management, like, my management team are always like, oh, get Brian to calm down. But it's like, if you're telling me to calm down, that's going to get me angry more. I know... The level of where like yeah, where fact. to be, you know what I'm saying? You no, know so, I'm glad you touched on that because for me, I feel like my striker yeah. has to have a little bit, not not even a little, has to have some sort of ego for me. Like even yeah. if I know that I'm right in that situation and you know I'm right, yeah, yeah, yeah. the fact that you can tell me nah, like, like I need that in my striker, yeah, yeah, I need yeah, my yeah, striker course, to course, know yeah, that yeah. yeah, he's on it. Yeah. So for me, when when I see people do that to you, like how does that make you feel? Because like I said in a previous interview, yeah. I don't like the way people use your emotions against you in sports. I feel yeah, like yeah, you're very yeah. passionate about something yeah. and you know the level you need to be at. Why not express that on the pitch? That's what of it's course. there for. Yeah. So do you feel like recently in the last couple of seasons that um, emotions are, are being too involved in football? Like we need to start taking it stripping it back to the basics of you know letting people be who they I are wish, on the pitch. I wish it could be like that mm. but it's- I wouldn't say the game's gone like a bit sensitive, but it's like I don't know. Like, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Like it, it, like, it was like a few years mm. back. Like you could like no one really cared. Yeah, like yeah. The, you know what I'm saying. But now it's but a bit. But now you got to sugarcoat your words yeah, in terms of, course, of like, yeah, yeah, like how you demand the ball. Like if you haven't got it five times, and and you need that ball. Yeah, yeah. You, you, because you're thinking about how my man needs to be spoken to, you're gonna be like. You're like, yeah, bro. I need the ball. Yeah, Instead of being what? like, pass me the yeah, ball. Yeah, there's, there's certain there's certain mm. players like, cause not everyone's the same. Like, not everyone's like, like they've got that fiery character. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so there's certain you. players you got to talk to like in a certain mm. way. Cause if you go to a, like a player like yo like, like get onto mm. them like they their heads could go. Then mm. that can just mess up like your whole team. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So there's certain like players that you got to talk to in a certain way, but. Mm. I'm a striker. I just need a ball in it. So <laughs> with me, it's different. Right. Like, like they, because they know that I'm a, I'm a calm, cool guy. So yeah. if you know I'm getting on to you, it's not because like I don't like it, or whatever. Yeah. It's just I need the ball because I need to do what I gotta do. So it's mm. like I'm fired. Like yo, get me the ball. Like mm. give, give me the ball. Let me do what I gotta do. So <clears throat> touching on that, yeah. Like I said, that's that that comes down to confidence and believing yeah. your own abil- in, in your own ability. So for me, with that being said, how much of that comes down to you, the manager, and the players you have around you? Like, where does that confidence come from and how do you kind of, like, proportion it out to who it comes down to? Um, well, first, firstly, myself, I won't be lying. My, like, confidence <laughs> though, within yourself. If you don't have confidence in yourself, true. then, like... You can have confidence in no point. You. Yeah, there's mm. no point. Then, obviously, mainly it's, like, yeah, your 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 your, manage, your managers and your your teammates, you mm. know, your, your teammates. Because, like, especially now at Tilbury, like, players will come up to, like, 
like my skipper will come up to me like Lee Burns like he'll be like, like I don't think you understand like you are so important to what we do like mm. I don't want to put pressure on you but like you're like we look to we look to you like to do what you got to do like, it's yeah. change the game so that gives you a bit like mm. ah cool I got a I got a step up from like my like my bros, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like my my teammates. So it's like it makes you mm. like full like you get me, it gives, you, gives that you that extra, five, extra yeah, that yeah, extra five, ten percent, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, yeah. And bro, bro, it shows it in the in the goals that you scored. So for me, how does it feel being top goal scorer in the league, fam? Jo- join top goal scorer in the league and for yeah. your club. I feel like for me that that's that's big coming off what you've been going through. Yeah, do you know what? Like even though it's like what four, three, four goals, it just looks nice for your name to be up there. Bro, like it's it's been like like I said, you can say it's been three, four goals, but it's been a tough season. Like yeah, no yeah, one yeah. expected this to happen, and you've kind of just had to. I thought everyone's just adapting and adjusting to things. You're kind of yeah. having to make something out of nothing, but the fact that you're kind of like, you know, you went through what you went through. You were bagging goals, went through what you went through, and mm. you're kind of like, you know. Um, <clears throat> gathered yourself to go again. Yeah, 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 I feel like for me that's big because there's a big play in the mindset. Yeah. And for me, I want to know what's your mindset like going into games. Do you do do you set yourself a target? Is there a certain routine that you have before you go into games to make sure that you're right for this game? Um. Yeah. Do you know what? Like always win first. Mm-hmm. I don't wanna lose it for me. Like. <laughs> Bro. When we lose a game, like it's uh, the worst. yeah, it's long, it's yeah, long. Like you, bro. you don't even go on your phone. You just, just want to go home. <laughs> your missus bro. probably you're freaking bro. <laughs> like, like so like, yeah, bro. yeah. So ma- mainly like mm. three points first, then a goal a game. Like yeah. that's what my target. Like mm. get, like every game, every game you play, at least get a goal, a minimum goal. But the main mm. one, three like three <clears throat> points or get the win or whatever. Ah, right, cool. I he- you know what? Yeah, I very much agree on the three points. Yeah. Um, like that's that's a minimum standard yeah. for me and the team I play at. But for me, I remember when you know setting my goals for the season. I would say something crazy like, "Bro, <laughs> I used to say like, Lord, twenty twenty assists, ten goals, maybe yeah. in it." But for me, I felt like that impacted the way I played. I I felt like I wasn't as effective as I could have been because. I'd be making more selfish decisions when I got oh, the ball because I'm trying to get own, my targets. Your own targets. Yeah, so yeah. for me, when you're saying one goal, one game, yeah. it's, for me, it's like when you get the ball and there's an opportunity for you to square it to <laughs> someone to make it 2-1, see, see the game out, yeah. get the win. Would you then take that chance on yourself because you're thinking, no, nah, one goal, one game. Even though strikers need that confidence, yeah. do you feel like having such targets impact you in the way you play? Uh, what well, is is different is different for a striker though, cause mm. cause like I right, cool right, cause you said targets I was thinking all right, cool targets. Let, like, let me play the scenario yeah. out for you so you understand yeah, a little bit on, more. Yeah. Um, you remember World Cup when everyone said Harry Kane should have squared it to Sterling? That's the kind of situation I'm talking about. Your 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 st- put that scenario in accordance with your goal. You're saying one goal, one game. You ain't got a goal. You ain't got a goal that game, bro. I can't lie. I'm doing, but, what, I'm doing what Harry Kane does. Nah. You know why? No, let me tell you, let me tell you why. No, you know what? You can get it, you can get away with it in the league, but if that's World Cup, hell no, fam. I'm saying no, sweat l- that. Let me, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. And I'm sure like most strikers can back me up. Yeah, you see, like in a, in a situation like that, World Cup, whatever. Yeah. You see when you're in the box as a striker, yeah. tunnel vision. You don't see nothing else going on, fam. You nah, know what I'm saying? Bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm not having that. Yeah. He, you know what? Let's be real. If he squared that ball, we could we could no, be course. literally yeah, talking yeah. about a different story. No, right of course, now. But, but and I get I, I, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. I get the thing of confidence in a striker being able to get the ball in big moments and smash it mm-hmm. in. But Bro, there's like if you, know, think you, of, it, if yeah. you put it on the plate, bro, I'm one step closer to something but, bigger but than you know a goal. I don't blame Harry Kane though. I like, don't blame him, but at the same time, for me, it's 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 going back to when you said a goal a game. Do you know what I'm saying? I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. The, the 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 way that um, makes you play because he's probably thinking, oh my days, I'm in a position to put my yeah. name if, if it's in hun- there for my if country. If it's hundred percent, if it's hundred percent there, like to square it, and I know he's mm. a tapping, I would have done it. Yeah, but it's like. Ah, oh, it's, it's a weird one. It's a weird cause I kind of I don't blame Harry Kane for yeah. shoot that like, like, shooting in it. Like he's a he's a he's a number nine. He scores goals or whatever. So yeah. he probably thought he can like dispatch it. You know what I'm saying? You know so, what? This is my theory on it, yeah. bro. If you're gonna do that, 
Just make sure you score. You in score, there. yeah, of course, of course, yeah. If you, you don't miss, score, I don't, yeah, I don't, long. Wanna, don't chat to me. It's long, yeah, yeah, it's long, it's long. <laughs> but thank God in our si- in our situation, you know, you done your thing. Yeah, you, yeah. You got that promotion because that <laughs> yeah. was a mad season for us. But yeah. now, nah, man, for me, I feel like um, goals are just important. But with that being said, would now knowing that you know goals can affect you in a certain amount of ways, saying like one goal a game, would you then change it like long term to say you know what maybe let me just focus on getting one goal this month. Or a couple of sisters, yeah, like, no, and then kind of build off like that. Like what? What I'll do? I'll aim for like um, twenty. Like as a striker, twenty goals minimum a minute. So I'll aim for like twenty, twenty five, thirty goals in a season. But I'll break it down. Mm. Is in like at uh, September, you've got like what um, five games in a month or whatever. Yeah. At least score three. Get like three. Yeah. So I always, I always break it up. I always break it up into like little portions. Because mm. if it's like. Cause if I if I do it like oh yeah um five there's five games this this month this or whatever month, yeah. like unless you're on some mad goal scoring run you score five goals or whatever but sometimes you break it up in it like I'll be like alright cool let me get yeah. three goals and like chip in with like a few assists even though it don't come up on like yeah Brian Moses got an assist or whatever mm. but you know within yourself like yeah he scored because I set him up whatever <clears> in it so I always break up in like little portions like mm. I always make sure I will get like ten to fifty go- ten to fifteen goals. By Christmas, okay. like before the new year, I'll make sure at least I'm on like ten to fifteen goals. Like so, that's that's my main objective. Like before, like the new year, ten to fifteen goals. That will be my main objective. Mm. Just to touch on a point that you that we spoke about earlier, um, how important is it for you that you maintain a healthy relationship with the manager or playing under a manager that appreciates you? No, that's that's that's. that's... And I'm and I'm I'm not just talking on the pitch. I feel like. When a manager messages you or speaks to you about your problem yeah. off the pitch, that's when you start to develop a proper relationship and it and it transcends yeah. into on the pitch. Yeah. So how important is that for you? Yeah, yeah. Well, with um <coughs> with Mark Harrison and Liam Wallace, like the Tilbury management, they're proper like hands on with management. Like it's not even just with football. Mm-hmm. Like so, if like you come into the change rooms, they'll just see something's not right. They'll they'll let you do what you got to do, then they'll give you like a call. Be like, oh, like has things like they'll he, obviously mm. he's into it. They'll be talk about football, then they'll start talking about like mm. like get you comfortable and start <laughs> yeah. talking about your per- like personal life. And it's like it's proper. Like I can't lie, it's, it's, it's big. proper. Yeah, bro, it's big, bro. I like, feel like, I feel like for me that's so important because before we're well, footballers, we're still human beings at the end. Yeah, of the day, yeah that's know, something. We yeah, have a lot going yeah. on, and you never know what it's like to just for someone to come into a training. You know, like yeah, especially especially like non league. Mm. Like you could mm. be working, you could be tired, bro. stressed. Like you got other things going on it's not like you come in every day you're training or whatever and it's so it's like with that with the managers like it's important especially with with like the managers now that I've got their proper hands on with it. and it's yeah. like it's trust me it's, yeah, it's, you, need need you need yeah, that you need that more need man that like because uh, uh, like all managers are different in it some people just stick to like just do it on the football football side mm-hmm. of it but the the personal side of it like oh, it's important it's important if, if you're comfortable with it anyway because some people they might not be comfortable with like letting know like telling people their personal life or whatever and like, what's exactly. going on but no Fair it's, it's probably right, cool good, I hear that alright yeah. cool you know what time to shift it on this this yeah. this is where I get you know excited because I've got a couple of questions I've wanted to ask you yeah. for a moment so first question toughest defender you've played against oh, I knew it like if you want to drop my name in there I don't mind <laughs> it, bro I remember them um, training sessions my, you know oh, yeah, but, shall yeah. I let you out now <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it is? I'm, you know what? I'm not even a good trainer. Like, I wouldn't say I'm a great, great trainer in that anyway, but... um, oh, tough, um Toughest defender gave you... Well, do, I have stri- to say, do I have to say one name or can I give a few? Cause I've had you to... can give a few. Just just, just one that come, Any that come to the top of your head that, rah, this guy gave me a game today. Uh, do you like know what? I said, um, drop my name in at any moment. <laughs> um, no, uh, there's a defender. Um, uh, he's at a- He was at Avery, but I think he's at Hornchurch now. I think he's... His name is Harry Gibbs, I think. Mm. If I remember, he's a, he's a, he's a good defender. I had a few good battles with him, uh, Darren Phillips. But I'm with him at Tilbury now. Like he's a good defender. Attacking versus training must be attackers versus defenders must be awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> must be awkward. <laughs> um, he was um, 
Joel, um, Joe e, um, EU. I hope I pronounced his name oh, right. Oh, I, th- I think I know you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. he's decent from my watch. I, I think cool. he's, he's at Mace, he's at, I think he's at Mace tonight. Mm. He's, he's, pro, he's, he's solid. He's, he's decent. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine he's solid. solid. I, I played against him when I was at um, Redbridge. He was, yeah, I think, yeah. he was at Barkingside, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no, nah, he's solid. So that's a few. Yeah, yeah that's nah, a few. Cool. Next question. Yeah. Best striker partner you've played with? Oh, don't do that. Oh, I'm gonna say yeah. Bro, I'm gonna say can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. I, of course I can, but I'm gonna say, would you would you drop Shane in there? Because the connection you man had was crazy. But there's a few though. Shane Shane's definitely up there. Shane's like he's cold. He's a cold, he's cold, bro. And I think it just works with me and Shane because where I'm just big and, big he's, and small, he's small. Just, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. What, what, do I have to say one or can I name a few again? Give me one, give me one, because I've got a few uh, more questions. You can't say ask. one, you can't say one. All right, give me, it's in no particular order, obviously it's just one, but just yeah. the first name that popped up into your head, give me that name. <laughs> Don't worry, my um, Christmas is around the corner still. The old day. I'm trying to, know, I'm trying to fit, like, you know what, I'm trying to think, you know, there's a few, but the first one that pops in my head, I'll say shh. Shane, Jason Hallett, and David Knight. Jason Hallett. If you know I that man, Jason, you know. Boy, Jason. Listen. Do you know what? Bro, that I, guy's you know what? been I, running I, his like, bags. Shane could like the Kennedy, but I can't like when me and Jason used to play up front. Mm. Cause sometimes I can't like headwind is long, especially some defenders. I bro, can't like that guy has it on lock. Bro, but listen, Jason can get up, bro. Like. Bro. We're doing opposite. From him as We're well. doing opposite. He's winning the headers, and you're just chasing. Yeah, them. <laughs> like yeah, you gonna win the head. You gonna do, like I can't. Right, yeah, first cool. Jason Hallett. Yeah, I'll say Jason Hallett. Still, right, yeah. Cool. Moving on to a bigger one for me. Favorite striker of all time. Oh no, easy. Alright, cool. Oh no, nice and no one, cool. Alright, no no cool. Now, now this oh, one. Now this one. Yeah, this one de- determines our friendship. By the way, yeah. <clears throat> Aguero, Kane, Alan Shearer. Three great strikers, only two can play. Who's the one that's got to go for you? Say again, Aguero. Aguero, Harry Kane, Alan Shearer. Only two of them can play. Who's the one that's got to go? (laughs) (laughs) You know what? Even though numbers don't lie, uh, Alan Shearer's got, what, 260 goals in the Mm Premier League? Shearer's got a goal, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I hear it. I hear no, it. I can't lie, because Aguero is a bad boy. Bags, man. And, and I'm I... glad that you said this because it brings me on to my next one. Aguero or Thierry Henry? Uh, Thierry Henry, isn't it? No, I don't like how you answer no, that No, no, do you know what it is? No. no, do you know what it is? Like, man, like... I rate Thierry Henry highly, by the way. I, I yeah. Rate, what, I, you I just you're Aguero like over you Henry? What? If this ain't about me. This is about you, and it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I'm just asking. But the way you answered it quickly just hurt me in it. No, because like, you know what it is. Like people seem to forget mm. the old school footballers. Like, because mm-hmm. you only remember what you see now. Like, you have to remember what like Henri was a bad bad no, boy. I know Henri was a bad man. Yeah. Still, I can't lie. I'll yeah. give it to him. But the way you answered it quickly, like I said, well, I should have took yeah, a little just, break. Just a pause. Just just a pause, just, uh, just a pause well, for I'll the sake start of taking thing. breaks. But with that being said, though, last question. What's next for Brian Moses? Um, Bagsman, been in the game for a minute, you know, doing well, top goal scorer. Yeah. What's next? Good question. Um, I want to win, like, win the league. Mm. Like, like win, win, like, win more promotions and but leagues, like, mainly. Mm. Because I can't, like, you see playoffs tense. Like, no, playoffs is only, de- playoffs is decent for the experience yeah. and for the crowd. Yeah, yeah. But I get what you mean. But, like, like, leagues mean... I I I've been because like, I I won the league I, like I, I was part of a, like a winning team, team at yeah. Grays but I was mm. young in it so I played like what 12, 13 games but yeah. winning a league like as like one of the main players whatever I think that will be like my next proper like target like win win the league win the league so I'll say win the league yeah well Brian bro it's been yeah. a pleasure speaking with yeah. you it's been a long Thanks time nice me, to chop up with you yeah hopefully we catch up after this. But guys, that concludes our show for today. Um, like, comment and subscribe, share, share it with your family. You know, be sure to leave a comment in below. Message us in our um, Instagrams. They will be tagged in. Um, thanks to our sponsors, Nuvo as well. Guys, make sure you go on their page. Look at their hats. Cool jumpers as well. 
other than that, guys, stay blessed, stay safe, keep well, and we'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace.